Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today we are going to discuss how to do the home quarantine for COVID-19. So before going in the detail of uh, what are the various guidelines for the home quarantine, first we should understand the difference between quarantine and isolation. So what is quarantine and isolation? Isolation and quarantine both are the public health practices which are used to stop or limit the spread of disease. Isolation, it is basically used to separate ill persons who, are, who have a communicable disease from those who are healthy. And the isolation restricts the movement of ill person to help the stop the spread of certain diseases. So that is the meaning of isolation. It is specifically done for the ill persons, ill persons who have a communicable disease. While quarantine is, it is used to separate and restrict the movement of well persons who may have been exposed to a communicable disease to see if they become ill and there are two types of quarantine. First type is the home, uh, home quarantine and second one is the institutional quarantine. Now, what are the guidelines of the home quarantine? So, detection of travel related or unrelated suspect cases of novel coronavirus disease will be followed by rapid isolation of such cases in designated health facilities and line listing of all contacts of such cases and home quarantine will be applicable to all such contacts of suspect or confirmed case of COVID-19. Now let's see the definition of contact. So definition of contact, contact is defined as a healthy person that has been in such association with an infected person or a contaminated environment is to have a exposed and is therefore at a higher risk of developing disease. So that is the definition of contact. Now contact in the context of COVID-19 is those who are living in the same household as a COVID-19 case, a person having had direct physical contact with the COVID-19 case or his or infectious secretions without recommended personal protective equipment or with a possible breach of personal protective equipment. A person who was in a closed environment or had a face-to-face -face contact with COVID-19 case at a distance of within one meter including air travel. So these are the definition of contact in the context of COVID-19. Now instruction for a person being home caring, home quarantine. So what are the instructions? So the first instruction is stay in the well-ventilated single room, preferably with an attached or separate toilet. And if any other family member needs to stay in the same room, it is advisable to maintain a distance of at least one meter between the two person. So there should be the distance, distance of at least one meter between the two person. So these are the instructions. Another instruction is need to stay away from the elderly people, pregnant women, children and the person with comorbidities within the household. Frequent movement within the house should be avoided. Under no circumstances attend any social gatherings or religious gatherings like marriages or condolences. So this thing should be avoided. What will be the duration of home quarantine? Now in the case of COVID-19, duration of home quarantine is 14 days and this can be reduced if suspect case turns out negative on the laboratory testing. So that is the duration of home quarantine. It is 14 days. Follow the public health measures at all times. Now what are these public health measures? The first Frequently wash your hand with chop and water or with alcohol based hand sanitizer. Then avoid sharing household items that is DCs, drinking glasses, utensils, towels, beddings or other items with other people at home. 
wear surgical mask at all the time and this mask should be changed every 6 to 8 hours and disposed of disposed mask should never be reused so this is the surgical mask triple layer surgical mask mask used by patients or caregivers or close contacts during home care should be disinfected using ordinary bleach solution or sodium hypochlorite solution and then disposed of either by burning or deep burial so this is how you can dispose disinfected and disposed of the uh, mask used by the patient and caregiver caregivers and the used mask should be considered as a potentially infected so that's why it needs to be disinfected and disposed of in a proper manner. If the symptoms appear during the home quarantine period like a fever, difficulty in breathing, then the person who is in the home quarantine should immediately inform the nearest health center or call the 104 or, or, or call on this number. Now, instruction for the family members of person being home quarantined. So, only one assigned family member should be tasked with the taking care of such person. Avoid shaking the soil linen or direct contact with the skin. Use dispos disposable gloves when cleaning the surfaces or handling the soil linen. Wash your hand after removing the gloves. Visitors should not be allowed. In case of the person being quarantined becomes symptomatic, then all his close contacts will be home quarantined for 14 days and follow up for an additional 14 days or till the report of such case turn out negative on the lab testing. So these are the instructions for the family members of person being. Now what are the environmental sanitation? So the in the home quarantine period. Clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces in the quarantine person's room daily with the one person sodium hypochlorite solution. Clean and disinfect toilet surfaces daily with regular household bleach solution or phenolic disinfectants. And clean the clothes and other linen used by the person separately using common household detergent and dry. So these are the environmental sanitation guidelines. This was my reference. Keep calm and stay home and protect yourself. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Thank you.